वेलकम बैक गाइज टू अनदर वीडियो एंड टूडे इज एन अदर व्लॉग स्टाइल वीडियो सो आई डोंट रियली हैव टू मच टाइम टू सेट अप द कैमरा एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट स्टफ सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ रियली शॉर्ट वन एंड द राजवी पाई फाउंडेशन जस्ट रिलीज एन अपडेट इन विच दे एक्चुअली डॉक्यूमेंट हाउ यू कैन बूट योर राजवी पाई मोस्ट ऑफ द मॉडल्स ऑफ द राजवी पाई एक्सेप्ट फॉर द फर्स्ट वन यू कैन बूट योर राजवी पाई बी प्लस द पाई टू and i guess uh, and of course the pi 3 over the network so that what it actually means is there would be uh, no storage or in some cases very very small uh, amount of storage is required uh, on board the raspberry pi and everything else can actually be on a remote server uh, or a, a data or a nas drive or something like that so uh, we are going to test this out i have a very small setup um, ready and to show you guys so first of all uh, i'll show you what the setup actually looks like and then we'll go on uh, to how uh, and then we'll go through the booting process so first of all i actually have the raspberry pi 2 so this one uh, it serves as the server so this has all the uh, full copy of uh, raspbian to boot uh, on the client uh, raspberry pi and this is the client raspberry pi uh this is the pi 3 and according to the documentation it requires no sd card or any sort of storage to boot from the network at all but due to um uh, some software issues and some bugs uh, that are yet to be fixed uh, i do actually need a sd card but that sd card does not uh, have to be a very uh, heavy one or a, of a higher class so i have a class 4 uh, i guess 8 gigabit sd card 8, 8 gigabyte sd card and the reason for that is you need to save the boot code dot bin file and uh, that is only about a couple of megabytes uh, as far as i remember so uh, an sd card as low as 10 megabytes or 5 megabytes would do if you can uh, find one of those so uh, let's actually go back to the um, Raspberry Pi server display, and if I can find my keyboard and mouse, I will show you guys uh, two screens that would be uh, kind of um, serving as uh, a debug or like a, like just to show a log of what's uh, actually happening. So the first one is a TCP dump. and that would show us what kind of data is actually uh, flowing through and then uh, the other one is um so uh, the daemon log uh, and it, this also shows a uh, sort of uh, data and i'll show you guys what data is being displayed so we'll start both of them and both of them have been started uh, just a moment so these are the two files now uh, these are the two commands uh, and all of this is actually given perfectly well documented on the uh, official raspberry pi um guide kind of stuff so uh, that's good they gave uh, us a guide to work on so let's boot on uh, the main uh, our raspberry pi 3 so you can see the uh, light is on now what we have to do is actually wait for the network light to come on now that has come on now due to again it's not a very perfect system i am not uh, getting anything so what i'll do is i'll actually go ahead and reboot the whole thing so turn it off and then turn it back on and now when the uh, green light comes on you can see there is uh, some data flowing and you can see that there are actually list of files that are being uh, picked up by the raspberry pi now as also at, at this time we do have a uh, display on uh, our raspberry pi 3 and as you can see that this is actually booting up perfectly and all the hardware act, uh, the hard drive activity is not really on the uh, raspberry pi 3 instead it is on the raspberry pi 2 now since it is using it for uh, any sort of data so i'll show you guys uh, how the that thing works uh, now 
all right so this is our raspberry pi 3 uh, screen so this is all booted on from um, the uh, raspberry pi 3 which is running over the lan or the ethernet or lan boot so i'll open up minecraft and what i'll do next is I'll start a game and then create a new world so as you can see the building terrain process only takes up uh, okay, i'll do it once more because it didn't register perfectly um, start game and then uh, create new and as you can see all the activity will actually eventually happen on the uh, raspberry pi 2 because all the data is on the raspberry pi 2 for but uh, almost everything works perfectly on the raspberry pi 3 uh, there's no issue uh, once it has been booted so mainly getting it to boot is the part where there can be issue and once it has been perfectly booted everything works so even though the pi 2 does not have uh, supported hardware for bluetooth and wi-fi that doesn't mean that the pi 3 wouldn't work uh, on those um, drivers so we do have bluetooth working as well as uh, wi-fi so what we can go ahead and do is open up Kodi. i'm not very sure if it will work because it's actually supposed to work with the OpenGL driver and I have not enabled that so uh, anyway guys uh, this was a small uh, little uh, show and tell of the uh, new uh, I guess Raspberry Pi's new newer booting system this also includes includes uh, booting with the USB uh, drive I, I did a video on that you can check that out as well so this all works uh, nice and um, fine as long as you have that boot code co as long as you have that boot code dot bin file available and uh, further software improvements would also mean that the Raspberry Pi 3 would be able to boot completely uh, free from any store on board storage and completely off the uh, network so thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in the next one